Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen's. Hope you guys are doing well. I've got something special for you today. A discontinued fragrance that typically goes for over $100 per bottle that you can pick up for about 15 bucks. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often. The fragrance is from Abercrombie & Fitch and it is fierce intense. I'm ultra pumped here. Anytime I can get a discontinued fragrance is a good day. Anytime I can get a discontinued fragrance for under $20, even better. I'll have this linked in the description in case you want to check it out. I don't know how many of these there are available. So basically, if you want it, you need to get it. In today's video, I'm going to break this one down a bit for you. I'll show you the presentation. There are some flaws here, and I think other bottles are going to be way more busted up than this one. But we'll talk about all that after the jump. So Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Intense. This one is available right now at fragrancebuy.ca. Like I said, I'll link it down below in the description. And in case you guys are unaware for any reason of fragrancebuy.ca, they are a great fragrance discounter. They have niche fragrances, designer fragrances, and great prices. They also have a loyalty program where you can save up and save on shipping and stuff like that with codes that they have through the loyalty program. And yeah, they're based in Canada, but they ship to the US super quick. Now, everybody knows Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. This is one of the best-selling, most popular men's fragrances ever. It's heavily associated with being a, a mall fragrance because that's what it is. Any mall that had an Abercrombie & Fitch, if you came within 200 yards, 200 meters of the place, you would start to smell fierce. And if you went into the store, whew, it was almost like going into somebody's house or somebody's car that smokes a lot. Like you go in there and then when you leave, you just smell like cigarette smoke. It was the same thing except with fierce. You would go into Abercrombie & Fitch, walk around for a little bit and then leave and then you smelled like fierce. But this stuff is a compliment monster, super versatile, and actually a really well put together fragrance, all things considered, even though some people do just write it off as a mall scent and they don't give it the respect that it deserves. And it's also really expensive. You might think, well, it's an Abercrombie and Fitch, so I should be able to pick this up at a discounter for 30 bucks. No. I wish, but no. And there are a lot of different flankers right now of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, but one flanker that no longer exists, at least at a retail store where you can pick it up brand new, is this one, Fierce Intense. Now, when it first came out, it had kind of a gray coloration to the bottle, and then they went to this blue coloration that you see here, but the fragrance was the same either way. Now, you may be saying to yourself, well, $15, that sounds really cheap. Why is it so cheap? And also, what does a bottle normally go for? Now, mine, thankfully, is not really busted up bad at all. It's got a few nicks, but it looks fine. But just looking at the picture in the listing for the fragrance, you can see that some of these bottles are busted up. They look like they've seen much, much better days. They've been beat up. They've been tossed around. They've been smacked. They've been punched. They've been mistreated. They don't look great. Now, you can see in the picture here, bottles looking ugly. And this is just an example. Some of them are going to be probably this bad or even worse. Some might be better because mine is. So that means some of them out there are, are decent looking, but you can see parts of the paint are missing. It's busted up looking. And it says in the listing that some of these leak a little bit from under the collar, that they have a slight leak. Now mine, I have sprayed on multiple times today and no leakage so far. So not all of them do, but some of them do. And it's kind of a roll of the dice, I guess. Some of you guys are going to be better looking ones. Some of you are going to get uglier looking ones. So yeah, that's why it's cheap. $15. Uh, you can't get too much cheaper than that. It's 15 US. So Canadian, I don't know what it is at $300. I'm just playing for like 20. But how much do these go for in a pristine condition? Well, on eBay, there are two listings right now for Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Intense. Two, because this is not an easy fragrance to find. The cheap one, the cheap listing, $110. It's a 50 mil size. All of these are 50 mil size. That's what the fragrance was made in. You can't get bigger. So $110 US for the cheapest on eBay, $125 for the most expensive. And guess what? Neither of those are pristine with the full presentation. Actually, the $110 one, the cheaper one, says that it has, quote, slight scratches on the bottle. So that kind of lets you know what the market is for Fierce Intense. A, there's not many of them. B, they're friggin' expensive. And C, 
they're usually a little bit busted up. So what's the deal? What's the hype with Fierce Intense? Well, like I mentioned earlier, Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, which I'm sure you know, is one of the most loved, most popular men's fragrances ever. People love it. It grabs attention. It has versatility. It has performance. Even though it is an Abercrombie fragrance, it is a classic. And Fierce Intense is pretty much what it says it is. Fierce yet intense. This is not one of those fragrances that's a flanker that smells nothing like the original fragrance. It's quite close to Fierce and actually more similar to how Fierce smelled years ago, back before it was tinkered with. So for fans of classic Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, this could be a great kind of nostalgia trip to an extent. Now, when I first spray on my bottle of Fierce Intense, I get hit with a, a little alcohol blast, get a little bit of that tinge of rubbing alcohol. Fades away very quickly, but if you spray and immediately go in and start whiffing on it, then you're gonna catch a little bit of that alcohol, assuming it smells like mine. It settles down very quickly though, very, very quickly. So it's not really an issue here. It's just there, then it's gone. Then it quickly settles into the Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce that everybody knows, everybody loves. My sister is actually visiting. She's in from uh, Japan and she smelled this and <laughs> she started to laugh and she was like, oh my God, that reminds me of the mall. I was like, well, yeah, it's, it's fierce. I mean, of course. But from the atomizer, there's no denying what this is. It's, it's that classic fierce ramped up a little bit. Really nice performance, great projection. So this one has watermelon in there. That's gonna give you a little bit of a an almost sea salty, fruity opening, bit of sweetness, and then it settles into that muskiness that you know so well, or that we know so well from the original. And interestingly enough, one of the notes in the fragrance is wheat. Yeah wheat. I don't know how exactly that that works in the grand scheme of things, but uh, it's listed. So do I smell weedy when I spray this on? No. Just wanted to point that out because it's kind of an odd quirk. Thankfully, though, the fragrance in this bottle, even though it is a little busted up, like I said, this one is, is pretty good looking, all things considered. But even though the bottle's a little busted up, the fragrance on the inside is still good. The only thing that I could possibly point out is that split second in the opening where you get hit with that little bit of an alcohol blast. So if you're worried that maybe the bottle has turned and that the fragrance is gonna smell funky, it's gonna smell off, that the top notes are completely gone, something like that, you don't really have to worry. Again, assuming everything in those bottles smells like what's in here. I forgot to do this at the beginning of the video. We'll do it now. Let's check out the presentation really quickly. Normally I would show you the box and everything, but this one comes with just the bottle. It does have a cap, thankfully. So here you have on the front, name of the house, name of the fragrance. And uh, as I have mentioned a few times, you'll see some dings on the bottle. I'll show you all sides so you can kind of see how it looks like. It's definitely seen better days, but this one looks pretty nice. On the bottom, you have your badge code. Mine is 017B-H. And even though this is fierce and tense, they do have it listed still as an eau de cologne concentration. On top of the cap, you have Abercrombie and Fitch 1892. Cap does click into place. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays for you guys so you can see how the atomizer works here. Not bad. And as I said, thankfully, no leakage under the collar of this one. So as I mentioned before, this is very similar to Fierce, only ramped up a little bit in terms of performance. And it does smell closer to how Fierce smelled years ago, back from what I remember, back when I worked at the arcade and was constantly at the mall. It reminds me of that. So when I smell it, it's like a big blast from the past, even more so than uh, this bottle of Fierce. And I touched on this before, but in case you're unaware of how the fragrance smells, when you first spray it on, like I said, a little bit of an alcohol tinge, then it settles in with watermelon very quickly, kind of a sea salty marine feel behind that watermelon. So it's gonna be a, a watery, semi-sweet fruitiness in the opening there. As it dries down, you get woodiness that comes out and especially musk, the white musk being more prominent than the woods. Little bit of an aromatic tinge through there as well as you head through the mid, there's sage in there. So that's what's gonna provide that little bit of an aromatic tinge. It also officially has ginger lily and like I mentioned before, wheat. Those don't play a massive part. I'd say the ginger lily, maybe a little bit more than the wheat because the wheat, I don't get it at all. But I like to say that it has wheat in the fragrance because it just makes no friggin' sense at all. What can we add to this that will take it to the next level? Wheat, it's genius. Fierce Intense works just as well today as when the original Fierce 
first came out. Versatility through the roof, compliment factor through the roof. You guys know this, everybody knows this. Even if you wanna hate on Fierce, you can't deny how many people love it. And with the ramped up performance here and the fact that it's discontinued and getting ever harder to find and typically goes for over $100 for a 50 mil size bottle, we're talking if you wanted 100 mils of this, it would cost you over $200 to be able to get that for 15, even if the bottle is horrifically frigging ugly, is still awesome. And even with an annoying potential leak around the collar, the fact that you're paying so little for it means it's a no brainer to me. So there we go, guys. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Intense. Like I said, link in the description, have no clue how many of these they have, have no clue how long this will last, but if you want it, it's there. All right, guys, that will do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. Super pumped.